The best way to get better at programming is to practice. And in this example, I'm going to show you really simply how to import a library in Java. As always, this file is available for download using a link provided below in the description. We'll give you a couple of seconds so you can download it and then you can follow along or you can attempt it on your own and then check your answer. All right, so let's get started importing libraries into Java files. So it's actually very, very simple. Anything that is inside of the folder that your file is currently in, you automatically have access to. So that makes it nice. That's kind of like your own internal package. Now, you can also import external packages. Now, if you get a package from a third party, you might have to have it either inside of a folder or set up a path. We're not going to talk about that real quick. We're going to focus on the Java packages and libraries. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come up here to line five and just go down to a new line. I'm going to say import, and this is our keyword to bring in an external file. What am I going to import? Well, I'm going to do something from Java dot, and then I can choose one of these packages. Now you'll notice that if I scroll through this, there's a lot of packages. We automatically get everything inside of Java dot lang. So what other ones are we typically going to use? Well, the one that we're most likely to use is java.util. And java.util has a lot of utility type classes that are very helpful for us to use. Now I can import a specific one. Now, if you notice these here that say dot and we have concurrency and dot function and jar, those all have package off to the side. And these are like subfolders. Each time we have a dot, you can think of it kind of like a subfolder and we'd have to import those individually. The ones that are not listed as a package off to the right, these are individual classes that we can import. So for example, I could import java.util.arrays or collection or one of these other things in here. Okay. You see, there's a whole bunch of things. I can do one if I want, or I can say star and I will get all of the individual classes inside of java.util. Now I will not get the subfolders. I'll have to import that specifically. So if I wanted something like java.util.jar, I'd have to say import java.util.jar.star. That gets me all the classes for .jar. So this star allows me to grab multiple classes, but only within the folder that I select. Okay. So this is a great little way to import multiple classes at one time. Java is smart enough to figure out what you need and doesn't import too much extra stuff. So typically we'll use a dot star instead of trying to import all those individual files. Hopefully you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing for more videos on how to get better at programming 